Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are finally doing the Kikyo unboxing. This is a figure that I've been looking for for a very long time, and I also have the Naraku figure on the way. Um, so I'd mentioned recently I was trying to get Kagura, Koga, Naraku, and Kikyo. I've done the Kagura video. We've got Kikyo. Naraku should be here by Monday. Um, I'll have a couple more Dragon Ball Z figures coming in as well. Um, so those videos will be coming up soon. And then we also have some Harry Potter action figures too. So I know I've been doing about one video a week here recently. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to up it up to two videos a week. Just because I have a lot of things going in. And I don't want them getting backed up. And I'm sure you guys are excited to see these. Um, I hope you are. So I want to get them out there um, for you as soon as possible. Um, so here is Kikyo. I will also do an updated... Inuyasha figure collection video once I get the Naraku figure in um, since I've added three more since the last one uh, But here is the packaging on her. We've got the character picture in the back like the other figures The figure here beautiful colors. I've wanted this one for so long when it came out in 2003, 4, maybe 2004, 2005 I remember seeing it in the Beckett anime magazine. I've wanted it ever since I'm so really excited to finally have it. We've got another character picture here in the front and then when we go to the back, we have some kind of poses of the figure. So she's pulled back the arrow, she's ready to shoot. We've got Sashomaru here, who is also the other Series 2 figure. We've done unboxings of the Inuyasha and Kagome figures. I'm gonna go ahead and put the links to these in the description down below. We've also done the Sango and the Moroku. And then here it tells you also look for this Inuyasha PlayStation 2 game coming November 2004. So just shows you how old this really is. And I'm gonna try my best to pose her with the bow and arrow. I can't guarantee that I'll be able to do it during the video, but the picture that I will use as the th thumbnail for the video, um, I will pose the figure that way. I have read about this string breaking. Um, I read about people having a lot of issues kind of getting it set up for the figure. So I don't wanna break anything, I don't wanna mess it all up. So this video will be more about showing you the figure and then the posing, I'll get that down after the fact. And hopefully you guys can see that and see it well in the picture. And then whenever I do the collection review, I will have her set up in that pose. And so you can kind of see how she looks on the shelf. So let me go ahead and get this little knife under here. Just try to keep this cut pretty clean. And let's get Kikyo out of here. And if you guys have a favorite figure from the Inuyasha collection, let me know. I know they've been producing some new ones. I forget the name of them. Uh, one of you told me in the comments to check them out. The smaller figures, really good detail, but they're pretty pricey. They all go for $150 plus and you know, I'd love to have them in the collection, but that's just a little too much to spend um, on the figures. But maybe one day the price will go down and I'll get lucky. Um, and get a good deal and I can add those two. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. They're brand new. They're maybe about this big, um, super detailed. Uh, if the name comes back to me, I'll mention it, but uh, those of you who are fans will probably know. If you do know, just remind me in the comments what they're called. But here you can see this full kind of body picture of Kikyo. Packaging looks great as always on these figures. We'll set that off to the side. We have our cardboard piece here. And then when we lift up, we have the stand which is something that was not included with the Inuyasha and Kagome figure. And it's really nice to have it with these later series. So there's our stand. And then we will get the bow out. So you guys can see that. Good detailing, a few little scuff marks, but no big deal. It's been in the packaging for a long time. We've got the arrow. The arrow seems a little bit longer than the Kagome one. If you guys can see that, sorry for the blur. I'll get it to focus in. I just gotta get the figure out of the package. Here we go. This is much easier than the Kagura one. That one was zip tied in and it took quite a bit of time to get it out. So here it is. Um, first thing, that you'll notice when you get the figure out of the package is that this is a hollow plastic, so you would think it's gonna be a lot heavier. And then when you pick the figure up, um, they're actually pretty light. So we'll just zoom in here on her face. 
I mean, they did a terrific job on the face here. The detail in the scowl, her eyes, her nose, her hair. You just plucked it right out of the TV or right out of the manga. Every little detail here. I mean, all the stitching on her sleeves, the way her hair comes around here. It's kind of moving as she's letting the arrow go. I mean, it's really a good action pose. Um, they did a terrific job with this figure. See the detail there in the bow. The red is a perfect color. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, just a little bit. And then here in the back, see the hair, the ribbon, how it's tied up, all the detail in the hair. It's a beautiful figure. These little details down here. If you're an Inuyasha fan, if you're a Kikyo fan, this is a must have, and this is probably one of the cheaper figures from the line. Um, but if you're just an Inuyasha fan in general, and you want to add something cool to your collection, I highly recommend this. You can see there her feet, great detail as well. Um, and then this piece down here, I wish it was maybe a little bit more than just the flat plastic, but again, when you, you know, when you pose her and you get on the shelf, you're not really gonna see that. So it's a minor detail, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's a beautiful figure. And that's nothing uh, nothing to complain about. I'm not going to try to turn her head too much. I'm not sure if you can, um, but the way your hair is positioned, I feel like you really can't um, you can't do too much with it. So this is definitely a figure that you just have to put out on the shelf um, and enjoy the beauty of it just by looking at it. Um, for anyone who would do any type of um, playing with the action figures, the Inuyasha line is just not one you can really do that with. So we can see here this tie that goes around her neck. You can see the cut there on the robe the creasing on the sleeve. This is definitely, fit. this is top three for me from the Inuyasha figures. Just looks so good. I might try to do a ranking. I'm gonna do a collection video of, I don't wanna say favorite to least favorite because I love all of them, um, but maybe favorite most impressive to kind of nice figure, but maybe not my absolute favorite from the collection. So here we have the stand, which we'll put under her right foot give the figure some good stability and then the bow okay so I remember this so you guys can see here her hand is completely closed and so the way to get the bow in you would have to basically untie this edge here I'm sorry for an issue with the focus you have to untie this slip the bow in her hand and then she would basically be holding the bow like this and then we would take the arrow and position it in this hand so this is not a great demonstration but I'm not going to take the time to undo the bow um, and get it all set up just in this video but I will do it when I do the collection I will have it in her hand and I'll kind of explain to you what I did but this is basically what it's going to be she's going to be holding the bow pulling the arrow back and generally you kind of see it from this side that's how she's um, position in the package. But if you just angle her slightly from this angle, this just looks so cool. And I'm gonna make sure she's angled on the shelf um, where you always see her from this angle. It's a perfect action shot and you know, minus the blood pouring out of her, this looks just like the star of the series when she's about to seal Inuyasha to the tree. Um, so absolutely love this figure of Kikyo. I wish that this was a little bit different. I will say as far as getting the bow um, through her hand, but it's not doing the world, and for a figure this great, it's worth the time um, to do it and to get it right. And so just to show you really quickly, okay, so this is kind of, we talked about that um, position you can put her in with the bow and the arrow, kind of nice action shot, and then that's what it's gonna look like there, just from the back angle and kind of a side angle. And so I'll have her pose like this for when we do our collection video. So I'll go ahead and set her down. I wish there was some way to do this easily. Let me actually see, guys. I won't take too much time with this. I'll even cut it out of the video if it's not working. Yep, there it is. See, I'm, maybe I was just being dramatic. Let's go ahead and slide that bow in through her hand. I mean, sometimes it's just worth a try and it may Maybe a lot easier than we think. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to pull this behind the camera just to try to get it in. Put this package here just so you're not staring at the 
countertop, but I just got to get this one piece kind of over the edge of the bow. Okay guys, that may have been kind of a cut from the video, um, but instead of wrapping it up without being able to get the bow on, I got some help getting it back on. My girlfriend got that on for me. I struggled for about 15-20 minutes after I wrapped up the video, um, so I wanted to bring it back and show you guys what she looks like with the bow in her hand. It's absolutely amazing. What a beautiful figure. And you can pull the string back and pose her holding it that way, but I have read some people saying that the um, string will break over time, and so what I may do is just try to fit the arrow into her hand and leave the bow like that. I mean, it's not perfect, guys, but you know what? It doesn't look that bad. And I don't want to risk this breaking, so I'm not afraid to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and set her down, and I will bring the camera down so you can see her. So I am sorry for that cut. It's probably going to be a pretty uh, bad one, but I thought you wanted to see it finished up like this and all set up so I think it was worth it so there she is and see even like that it's not bad the ear was pointing down a little bit but we can always straighten that up no big deal and then this is the angle that I would like to kind of pose uh, the figure where it looks like she's about to shoot the arrow and then if you wanted to honestly you could even pose her from this angle, there's really not a wrong way with this figure. And then right there from the back, you can just see that beautiful detailing on the hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to getting the Raku figure in, adding it to the collection, and I will be doing an updated Inuyasha collection set once I get in the Raku to include Naraku, Kikyo, and Kagura on top of the other figures um, that I had at the time that I made the other video. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy this beautiful figure. For those of you who are Kikyo fans, I highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys for the next video.